SCP-3044 Evolution in a Bottle Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-3044 is to be contained at Site-234 in the center of a hermetically sealed chamber of at least 4 meters by 4 meters by 3 meters, accessible only via a double airlock system. Each section of the airlock must be capable of running a full biological decontamination protocol. Access to the chamber is to be granted only in the six hours following a flash event, and only if the previous instance of SCP-3044-1 was successfully contained within SCP-3044. All maintenance must be performed during this time period, and no access is to be granted outside of this time frame for any reason. Due to this relatively small time frame, all maintenance personnel and other staff requiring access should be pre-approved by the senior researcher. A robotic arm capable of remotely placing a new cap on SCP-3044 must be fixed to the ceiling, and must be used to reseal SCP-3044 following a flash event if required. Ultra-high-speed cameras capable of at least 100 times zoom must be positioned in the containment chamber to allow for 100% visibility of SCP-3044's contents. Description SCP-3044 is a clear glass bottle with a spherical body measuring 1.2 meters in diameter, tapering up to a neck and a mouth 28 centimeters in diameter, with a full height of 1.7 meters. SCP-3044 contains a microenvironment typically unique from anything found on Earth. These environments are designated SCP-3044-1. At random intervals, footnote 1, ranging from between 10 hours to over 6 months, with an average of 1.4 months, SCP-3044 will emit a bright flash of light, henceforth referred to as a flash event, which lasts for less than a second. During the flash event, the current instance of SCP-3044-1 is destroyed and replaced with a new instance. This new instance will begin as a layer of soil with an atmosphere and liquids made up of seemingly random combinations of different elements. Shortly after the flash event, footnote 2, typically 16 to 24 hours, though occasionally as early as 8 hours, signs of life will begin to appear within SCP-3044. This life typically starts as bacteria or some other microscopic organism, whose presence can be inferred from visible changes in the composition of the environment. It then rapidly develops into plant and animal life, though many variations on this have been observed. Time within SCP-3044 flows at a highly accelerated rate, though this acceleration does not solely account for the speed at which life develops, suggesting some form of guided or controlled evolution. These factors make observation with the naked eye difficult. SCP-3044 itself appears to be made up of non-anomalous borosilicate glass and is therefore easily broken. The original stopper found with SCP-3044 was replaced with a custom one, allowing for easy sampling of the contents without risk of contamination in either direction. The sampling is to be done immediately after each flash event. Addendum 1 Following Incident 3044-1, containment procedures have been upgraded and a request to upgrade classification from safe to Euclid has been submitted. See Incident Report for details. Note Upgrade to Euclid class confirmed. Incident 3044-1 Final Report Unredacted, 1990 redacted, SCP-3044 suddenly and unexpectedly shattered while Researcher T was in the containment chamber. The current instance of SCP-3044-1 in this case was consisting of a large variety of fungal spores, was released into the air and inhaled by Researcher T. This rapidly resulted in severe seizures and then death. Over the course of the next hour, Researcher T's body, clothing, and all non-metallic objects on their person were completely consumed by the fungus. The reason for SCP-3044 shattering is believed to be high pressure caused by the buildup of spores within. The seal in the containment chamber held, but the risk of contamination made entrance impossible. Over the course of the following nine days, the fungus was observed covering and consuming every surface of the containment chamber, albeit at a much slower rate than it consumed researcher T, at which point a flash event occurred despite the damage to SCP-3044. Following the flash event, 
SCP-3044 was found intact and in its original location. Although the stopper was missing, and the new instance of SCP-3044-1 occupied the entire containment chamber. The previous instance of SCP-3044-1 had been completely removed, though damage to the containment chamber walls was still present. Personnel wearing level 4 biohazard suits entered the chamber and inserted a new stopper, and attempted to retrieve any remains or equipment left by Researcher T, though none were found. The new instance of SCP-3044-1 lasted for 4 days and 13 hours, during which time an ecosystem vastly more complicated than is usually created by SCP-3044 emerged, until the flash event occurred, and the new instance of SCP-3044-1 was once again contained within SCP-3044, the new stopper having remained in place. Following this incident, SCP-3044 was moved to a more secure biological containment facility. Experiment Log 3044-A Following Incident 3044-1, experimentation began to determine the exact nature of SCP-3044's flash events. Experiment 1 Test A length of iron 50 cm long was placed against the body of SCP-3044 and left until the next flash event. Baseline expectation test. Result. No effect. Following the flash event, the iron rod was unchanged. Experiment 2. Test. During a flash event, the stopper was removed from SCP-3044. Result. The primarily aluminum-based ecosystem began to grow out towards the mouth of SCP-3044, starting with flying organisms, and followed later by vine-like tendrils growing out and over the outside of SCP-3044. Following the flash event, the new instance of SCP-3044-1 filled the entire containment chamber. The ground was covered in soil with multiple large lakes of an unknown yellow-brown liquid, and the air within the chamber was replaced with a cloudy green gas. As per containment procedures, access to take samples of this environment was not granted. Experiment 3. Test. Directly following the previous experiment, the stopper was left out of SCP-3044. Result. In a manner consistent with the effects observed during Incident 3044-1, the effect of SCP-3044 encompassed the entire chamber. Following the next flash event, the new instance of SCP-3044-1 also encompassed the entire chamber. Note by Dr. Redacted. Both instances in which SCP-3044-1 filled the entire containment chamber developed a far greater variety of life forms, and even began forming some basic weather patterns in the atmosphere. Once these experiments are concluded, consideration should be given to leaving the stopper out of SCP-3044 long term. Experiment 4 Test Directly following the flash event in the previous experiment, the stopper was replaced in SCP-3044. Result. Evolution within SCP-3044-1 proceeded as expected, although because the ecosystem within SCP-3044 was now isolated from that filling the containment chamber, evolution resulted in markedly different varieties of life forms. Following the flash event, SCP-3044-1 was once again contained entirely within SCP-3044, with all material, including the atmosphere, outside of SCP-3044 removed. Note by Dr. Redacted. Following this experiment, I decided to check the samples we had taken from previous instances of SCP-3044-1 and stored. All of them were present and accounted for. It is unknown why they didn't vanish with the rest of their environment, when direct connection to the inside of SCP-3044 is obviously not required. A range-based factor, perhaps? Experiment 5 Test SCP-3044 was temporarily transferred to the on-site long-range testing chamber. Footnote 3 An environmentally sealed room measuring 1.2 kilometers on its longest axis, used when testing over significant distance is required in a controlled environment. With samples taken from the current instance of SCP-3044-1 placed at 100 meter intervals throughout the length of the chamber. Result. 
All of the samples disappeared following the flash event. Note by Dr. Redacted. Okay, not a ranged-based effect. Line of sight, perhaps. SCP-3044 was sealed, which suggests something a little more complex. Experiment 6. Test. As in Experiment 5, the stopper was removed from SCP-3044. Following the flash event, a series of random objects were placed at varying distances along the test chamber, and the stopper was replaced. Result. The new instance of SCP-3044-1 filled the entire length of the long-range testing chamber. In order to ensure containment, regular thermal decontamination protocols were run throughout the chamber until the next flash event, at which point the new instance was fully contained within SCP-3044. The previous instance was completely destroyed, leaving behind the objects placed in the chamber. Summary from Dr. Redacted this is the full extent of the range of effect on SCP-3044 that we can safely test, but there's no reason to assume it can't go much further. If nothing else, this has highlighted the importance of maintaining proper containment on SCP-3044. If a flash event occurred in an uncontained environment while the stopper was removed, there's no telling what damage it would do. Replacing a non-trivial chunk of the Earth's surface with some random alien landscape would be the best-case scenario. I'm suggesting that SCP-3044 be contained away from any other objects that are likely to destructively break containment. SCP-3044 itself isn't too difficult to contain. A sealed room seems like it will do the job, but it would only take the smallest amount of bad timing to end in disaster. Observation Log 3044, 1. Note. Following are notable excerpts from the observation log. For access to the full log, contact the senior researcher. The observation log was started during instance SCP-3044-1, 3, after the constantly cycling nature of SCP-3044 became apparent. Observations largely transcribed from viewings of recordings due to the difficulties of observation with the naked eye, caused by the time-accelerating effect within SCP-3044. SCP-3044-1-1 Composition Unknown Notes Instance of SCP-3044-1 present on arrival at site redacted. Protocols for retrieving chemical samples not yet in place. Observations Primary features include a forest of various species of giant fungus, visual analysis shows at least 17 distinct species, and a species of flying reptiles with six wings. This instance of SCP-3044-1 lasted for two hours after arrival at site redacted before a flash event, resulting in a lack of visual documentation. Atmosphere within SCP-3044 was noted as having a distinct purple tint, theorized to be caused by fungal spores. SCP-3044-1-5 Composition Soil layer contains high concentrations of iron and silicon. Lake of liquid ammonia covers approximately 30% of total surface. Atmosphere primarily argon. Notes the chemical composition of this instance of SCP-3044-1 is impossible under ordinary circumstances. At the temperature and pressure present within SCP-3044, ammonia would be a gas, not a liquid. This suggests a larger-scale manipulation of reality within the confines of SCP-3044. Observations 18 hours after instantiation, Lake began to bubble violently for 54 minutes, releasing more gases into the atmosphere, which testing revealed to be primarily nitrogen and carbon monoxide. 73 hours after the atmosphere stabilized, small creatures resembling millipedes with metallic carpuses emerged from the lake and over the course of three weeks evolved into a large variety of creatures resembling insects with thick metallic shells. Of particular note was the lack of plant life in this instance, resulting in a complex and almost completely carnivorous food chain. Addendum. It was later discovered that the sample of liquid ammonia collected from this instance of SCP-3044-1 reverted to its expected gaseous state following the subsequent flash event. 
SCP-3044-1, 76. Composition. Earth analogous, although atmosphere contained much higher concentrations of oxygen. Notes. Observations incomplete. See Incident 3044-1 report for details. SCP-3044-1, 151. Composition. Primarily carbon, silicon, and iron. Notable for lack of any other metal besides iron. Atmosphere primarily carbon dioxide and oxygen. Lake of pure water formed a nearly perfect circle in the center of SCP-3044. Trace quantities of a previously unidentified form of exotic matter were found in both the water and soil. Observations Activity in this instance began quickly. At eight hours after the flash event, the earliest recorded thus far, with bacterial processes causing notable discoloration of soil layer. A diverse and rapidly changing array of both land and sea life evolved and went extinct over the course of several weeks, before humanoid and vaguely reptilian species began showing signs of sapience. They quickly became the dominant species within the environment and were observed using increasingly complex tools and building structures of surprising intricacy. They began showing signs of technological development after approximately 15 weeks. This culminated in the construction of a comparatively large, tube-like structure attached to the inner surface of SCP-3044, which began cutting a hole through the glass over the course of approximately one hour. This tube ultimately provided to function as an airlock, and for the remainder of SCP-3044-1-151's 1, existence, the life forms within could be seen performing exploratory missions into the containment chamber. Due to the recently upgraded containment procedures and the unlikelihood of the life forms breaching containment, they were allowed to continue their activities without intervention, though the situation was monitored closely. The hole cut by the life forms was gone following the flash event, and collected samples of the exotic matter disappeared from their storage container. SCP-3044-1-193 Composition Besides a small layer of sediment at the bottom, unsampled though visibly similar to terrestrial Earth, SCP-3044 was approximately 80% filled with water similar to that found in the Pacific Ocean. Notes This was the first time no land masses have been present within SCP-3044. Observations after 25 hours of apparent inactivity, this instance rapidly evolved a stunningly diverse array of sea life, approximately 40% of which differed significantly from anything currently found on Earth. After three weeks, a small rock-like organism was observed floating close to the surface of the water, and over the course of the following four weeks, grew to a size of approximately 30 centimeters across, with a 20 centimeter tall mass of rocky shell protruding from the water essentially forming an island. Over the remaining five weeks of this instance's existence, a number of life forms evolved on the new island, including several bird-like species. How the island creature was able to grow to such a size with no apparent source of food, or where the material to accommodate its composition came from, is currently unknown. SCP-3044-1-213 Composition Earth analogous, with only minor variations. Traces of the exotic matter previously seen in Instance 151 were found. Observations Evolution of life within this instance followed a similar pattern to that seen on Earth following the KT extinction event, with mammalian forms roughly analogous to terrestrial life developing relatively quickly. Approximately two weeks into the life of this instance, Primates resembling early hominids began showing signs of sapience, and approximately one week later had developed into a form closely resembling humans. Progress from the use of basic tools to the construction of settlements and development of technology occurred quickly, with notable similarities to Middle Eastern architecture circa 500 BCE in design of their buildings. Of particular note is that two months into the life of this instance, they began showing signs of telekinetic abilities which they used in groups for constructing buildings and monuments. Due to the small scale of the life forms within SCP-3044, determining the exact nature and limits of this telekinetic ability is challenging, 
but was observed to be increasing in potency over time, with fewer individuals being required to move the same amount of material. A flash event occurred when the civilization within was believed to be on a level roughly analogous to humans circa 1500 CE. Notably, unlike in Instance 151, the civilization in this instance displayed no observable awareness of the interior walls of SCP-3044. As in the previous case, following the flash event, the samples of exotic matter disappeared. SCP-3044-1-247 Composition Silicon and carbon-rich soil with high concentrations of heavy metals. Dense atmosphere of carbon compounds and lakes consisting of a variety of hydrocarbons. Observations Evolution occurred in a manner congruent with previous instances of a similar composition, ultimately developing into an array of fungus-based life forms visually similar to a number of Jurassic-era dinosaurs, albeit with tripedal configurations rather than quadrupedal. Of particular note is that this instance is the first to suffer an extinction event. Three months, two weeks, and four days into the life of SCP-3044-1-247, a comparatively large asteroid struck the ground inside SCP-3044, wiping out all observable life within and leaving a deep crater into which the remaining liquids poured. Review of the recorded video footage shows the meteor materializing from the inside edge of SCP-3044, heading directly towards the center of the landmass. This is the first time an event such as this has been observed. It is also worth noting that, despite the apparent force of this impact, SCP-3044 itself was undamaged. SCP-3044-1-256 Composition Carbon, aluminum, and copper make up the bulk of the soil, and the previously observed exotic matter was present in large amounts. Atmosphere of mainly nitrogen, and lakes of liquid methane also contain traces of exotic matter. Observations Signs of life appeared nine hours after instantiation, and evolved incredibly quickly and unusually directly, into a race of quadrupedal mammals that rapidly began displaying signs of sapience. Less than 24 hours after the creation of SCP-3044-1-256, the lifeforms within had already begun building structures and using tools, and six hours after that began showing signs of developing technology. They continued to progress at an incredibly advanced rate until approximately 36 hours after instantiation, they began building a large structure which reached to the center of SCP-3044, on top of which was a large bulb-like object. The bulb flashed a number of times in a constantly repeating pattern until a flash event occurred 47 minutes later. Later analysis revealed the flashes to be Morse code and translated to help, repeated over and over. It is currently unknown how the lifeforms learned Morse code or how they were aware that there was anyone to communicate with outside of SCP-3044. Samples of the exotic matter disappeared at the time of the flash event as with the previous cases. Lifeforms in future instances of SCP-3044-1 that begin to show sapience, along with any instance containing any form of exotic matter, are now to be reported immediately to the site director. Thank you for listening to SCP-3044 Evolution in a Bottle by Mortos. If you enjoyed this SCP, please like and subscribe, and follow the link in the description to the SCP wiki and voted up to support it and the SCP Wiki as a whole. I'd also like to give a shout out to my members, Powerless, Last of the Four Horsemen, Wahan Crow, Stephanie Miller, and Senescence. Confidential and above get to enjoy a Saturday release, and if you would also like to, follow the link in the description and become a member. In addition, if you wish to support the channel directly, there is a link to my Ko-fi. Thank you.